All right, good evening, everybody. It's <coughs> a good start. Got a frog in my throat already. Welcome right, to. Evening, oh, hello. There's an echo. Let me just mute that. There we go. Welcome to tonight's stream. We are playing some Spyro tonight. As you can see, Spyro the Dragon is done. 120% complete. Uh, we finished that off last time out. <coughs> I say last time out, actually, it was, what, mid-November, was it? Or just before Christmas? I can't even remember now. But we, we beat Nasty Nork. I actually beat Nasty Nork twice to get the credits to roll the second time so I could record them and then never uploaded the credits. So I've technically beaten him twice the second time for no real reason. Um, what, what am I, where am I going with this? I don't even know. We're going to be starting Spyro 2 today, which is not called Ripto's Rage. It's called Gateway to Glimmer, and I'll fight you if you disagree with me. For those of you that don't know, the uh, sequel was given two different names for the different markets. So over in America it was Ripto's Rage, but over here, in the United Kingdom, it was called Gateway to Glimmer. Which is a much better name. Like, if you've got the name of a character that you've never met before in the title, you're going to be thinking you've missed something. But anyway, we're playing Ripto's Rage. Gateway to Glimmer. Let's do this. I'm going to try and keep quiet for the cutscenes. Is this rain ever going to stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! <laughs> Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs, and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <gasps> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Stop. Whoa! Rough landing! Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Go, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? All right, that was the opening cutscene of Gateway to Glimmer. And here we are in the... I was about to say gem cutters, but I think they are just... I think this is just Glimmer, this area. 
Uh, so let's start collecting some gems. I'll talk you through how this game is nostalgic to me. So the first game, <clears throat> I did a long spiel about how I played it a lot when I was a kid and you know, misty-eyed, reminiscing, that kind of thing. And this game is very much the same. This game I actually remembered the intro for best out of all three of the original trilogy, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so this is the one I could almost recount frame by frame exactly what happens in the intro. I still don't understand why the fairy doesn't just fly off with the scepter. Why uh, Gulp ha has to end up swallowing it. I'm not really sure what that's got to do with anything. Hi Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems! Can you stop I sure them? can, citizen. This is the game where killing enemies does not give you gems. It gives you, like, essence points that you go and activate um, archways and stuff with. I've got two at the moment. I think it's is it seven that you need for the first arch, which is the, uh, the superfly. <clears throat> Again, I say I remember the game very well. I remember key parts of the game very well. Some of the minor details I have in many ways forgotten. But it's kind of a scenario where I, th I think I've forgotten it or I don't remember it exactly but as soon as it plays out in front of me it will all come flooding back. Like I know in this game there is just a random character that talks about being a vegetarian. And when I... I, I always remember the line. Hey Dylan, hey Tom. I always remember the line uh, that the guy says, but I thought I'd misremembered it at one point because I was talking to someone else, I can't remember who it was now, about the game and I mentioned the vegetarian guy and they sort of looked at me like, what the hell are you talking about? But then I went back and watched the playthrough and it's exactly as I remember it. I literally, the guy out of nowhere just goes, being a vegetarian, at which it in no way has anything to do with anything and yet is a very very good uh, summation of uh, modern society at the moment. People who are vegetarians do like to bang on about it. Alright, I think I've actually got all the gems from this uh, this little area here. Or at least the ones that I can get so far. Hi Spyro, I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Here's something else that's a bit dumb, by the way. I know the fairy's called Zoe, because I've played the first version of this game. And I know that Allura's called Allura, Hunter, and the Presser. Uh, I know all of them, because I've played the game before. But if you're the f if this is the first time you've ever played this game, you meet a fairy called Zoe, who talks about Allura. The only person whose name you know... Well, you know Spyro, obviously. You know Sparks. You know Ripto, because they say his name. You know Gulp, because they say his name. Uh, and you know the Professor, because they say his name. But they don't say any other name. So, who, how are you supposed to know who Alora is? That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this. At least place. I don't think they introduce themselves. Maybe they do, and I just tuned out of that bit. Yeah, vegans. Vegans are the worst. I was watching uh, not the latest hashtag United video, but the one that came out before. Um, and they always have their goalkeeper do like a, a rant of the week type thing. And he's talking about the, the Greg sausage roll, vegan sausage roll incident. And he goes, uh, you, you meet a vegan, you know, they tell you they're vegan before they even tell you their name. It's so true. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, we need to learn how to climb a ladder. Money bags has to teach us how to climb a ladder. That's how little uh, Spyro's pride is during this game. He has to have money bags teach him basic movements. Right, let's go grab the rest of the gems from up here. Oh, there he is. His ears must have been burning. You must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems. Anyone else think money bag sounds a bit like pagan min now? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. 
I hope we meet again when you have just waiting for money bags to recommend the crab rangoon don't even think about it mister is that an egg thief I can hear as well Isn't there an achievement for doing something to money bags? Quite possibly. To get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. No egg thieves in the game. See, I I don't remember things like that. Uh, yeah, the stream's struggling a bit. I might turn down the encoding on my desktop. It is stuttering somewhat. <clears throat> the recording should be unaffected, so the uh, YouTube uploads afterwards should be fine. But um, I will turn down the bitrate. Let's see if that makes a difference. I remember I ranted about people know more about your species than you do. Well, yeah, I mean, we're all the same species. <clears throat> I mean, there aren't egg thieves in this game, but it sounds like there are. Can I burn your banner? Ha ha ha. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. We will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. All right, we're not ready to go through there just yet, though. Got a little bit more exploring to do. Uh, I don't want to talk to you again. No offense, but you mean nothing to me. I was in Dragon. Yeah, true. Very true. Like the people of Avalar just assume that a dragon will solve all their problems and then bring the wrong dragon, well they were technically they brought the right dragon but they don't know that at the time they are expecting like a seven foot tall big fire breathing kind of guy and they get this little midget dragon come here you son of a gun even the smallest enemies in the game are bigger than Spyro and then I suppose Maybe news of Nasty Nork's defeat don't didn't travel very far outside the Dragon Dragon World. I don't know. I'm speculating. Where am I going? Let's go take care of you. I'm gonna try and complete this game in a more linear fashion so that I'm not having to backtrack all the time. Yeah, you got a problem with that, pussycat? This is a kid's game! Can't say things like that. Can't call someone a cat. You can't assume their species. Alright, nothing here. Alright, this is going to be the bit I hate. Is uh, going around and lighting up all these gems. The Superflight power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for Go a on, short Dylan, time. Go on, Dylan, what did you hear? Walk through the pyramids to trigger. Are they technically pyramids? They're more like obelisks. Uh, light the gem lamps with your flame. Light all the lamps quickly. Yep. On it. Oh, God. I was expecting to have to uh, jump up in the air to start flying. Come on, Spyro. Be nice and quick now. Four. Five. And all the way over here for number six. Got it. Ah, oh, I am nailing this game so far. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. 
Someone needs to have a chat with these gem cards about the exchange rate. Because I'm pretty sure these orbs are worth about a thousand gems each. Give or take. Oh, it's so nice having the Y button to, uh, to do the like little jump hover land thing. I missed that in the first game. It's a bit like Assassin's Creed. I don't think I could play an Assassin's Creed game without the grapple hook now. Hello. What's this for? Just when you get the... Um... Is the head bash in this game? I don't think it is, actually. Now I've said that. Oh. Just fly through there. Okie dokie. Alright. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, oh, just you get an achievement me. if you do it in 15 seconds. Oh, forgot. Use it. This. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting bullet drop to be a thing in this game, but there you go. Shooting. Follow me to the next. Uh. All right, hang on. I can't remember where he runs to. Actually, is it? Oh, it's over there. All right. Yeah, you stay there, buddy. I'll be with you in just a second. Spyro's just got to come up here and get the dollar. There we go. Damn. Is there a way to? Like reset this. Oh yeah, head bash is in, but not till the very end. Okay, okay. You can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. All right. Oh, now I'm in Legend of Zelda mode. I'm trying to aim, just moving the controller. Doesn't work like that. All right, buddy, to the next one. To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. As if I go out and come back in, they'll all be unlit again. I hope that's true. Where is it? I can hear it. There you are. It's fine. Oh, right in the face. I punched his face in the face. Zap me, Zoe. At least the fairy has a name this time, so I'm not just saying zap me, fairy. Because, you know, out of context, that doesn't sound good, does it? Alright, one more. Where'd you go? How in the... Making me go the long way around. I've got a good mind to stop right here. Yeah, you wave your backside at me. Yay! You've saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here. There's yesterday. so much to dissect in that sentence. Gems are grown, even though you're a gem cutter. And this crop is just the collective term for gems. 
I don't know. It, it, it's too dense for for a kids game. There's so much to to think about there. Okay. So I think I'm gonna use the portal to travel to the next world, which is Summer Forest, and then come back and try and get that achievement. We'll see how many attempts it takes to get the achievement. Hopefully one, because I believe this is the game where if you fail, uh, you have to literally leave the world and come back every time before you can try again. Which is very annoying. I think there's a cutscene here, is there not? We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi! I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah! They gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Does he realize that he's saying this at 11.59 a.m.? So yeah, that's the cutscene that they uh, did the trailer kind of thing for when they first revealed what Alora was going to look like. I remember that. We both watched it. Sort of went, oh, what have they done to Alora? Yeah, that's the first time you hear her name, and yet people have been talking about her for the first level. It, it's confusing. Um, am I going to go for all the trophies and skill points? Uh, let me have a look and see what the skill points are. I think I could. I, did I go get all the skill points in Spyro 1 in the end? I think I did. Maybe I didn't. I'll have to go do that. That'd be offline. I take it I can't swim yet. Nope. Oh, I've got to embarrass myself by learning how to swim from that douche nozzle. Also, talking of douche nozzles, I forgot what how much of a prick Hunter was in this game. At least at the start. He's a right ass. Uh, don't need health at the moment. I also, I'm, I'm just going to be making snidey remarks throughout the entire game. Where are the banners? Are they higher up? I do find it funny that um, they just had banners with Ripto's face on, ready to go, <laughs> for when he took over the castle. If you can call this a castle. Where are they? Don't ruin my joke by not existing. They do actually say a name at the start, just not as an introduction. Okay.